If we're going to admit the stethoscope is a disgusting, dirty vector, which it is, then we need to scientifically evaluate strategies to prevent the transmission of pathogens commonly found on our stethoscopes and onto our patients. While stethoscope cleaning is clearly an option, in today's time-compressed, relative value unit-driven physician work environment, stethoscope cleaning simply doesn't happen. It is so rare for a medical provider to spend the recommended 60 seconds cleaning their stethoscope with a 70% isopropyl pad between every single patient. It's fair to say it absolutely never happens. What is needed is a disposable barrier for the stethoscope, just like we have barriers for the head and the hands and the feet and the body. So we performed a trial to determine if a barrier applied to the stethoscope diaphragm is an effective measure in preventing the patient's exposure to pathogens already on the stethoscope. To do this, we tested barriers using three different strains of seven pathogens, 21 replicates that included E. coli, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, and vancomycin-resistant Enterococcus, VRE, as well as pathogens from samples of urine, stool, saliva, and sputum. In the lab, we put each of these bugs on the stethoscope diaphragm and then placed the barrier over it. By this method, the barrier would prevent the bugs from being transmitted from the stethoscope to the patient. Cultures were then obtained from the surface of each barrier covered stethoscope diaphragm over the next 24 hours. For all diaphragms, there was no growth identified for any of the pathogens and the stethoscope surface with aseptic barriers remained sterile for up to 24 hours. Disposable aseptic diaphragm barriers were extremely effective at the prevention of pathogen transmission for up to 24 hours after their application. The availability of an aseptic stethoscope barrier system should be the standard of care in all institutions trying to control their infection transmission rates. Thank you. I'm Frank Peacock, emergency physician, Baylor College of Medicine.